Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline. This is a video tutorial series through which we will sharpen our problem solving skill in mathematics. First, we will analyze the problem on hand to find the related concepts. Then using these, we will develop a method which will produce the solution. This will help the students aspiring to get into IIT to understand the much needed advanced theories and applications in mathematics. In this video tutorial, we will discuss three multiple choice questions with only one correct option on finding the approximate value of quantities using the method of differentiation. The questions are as follows. Question 1. If fx is equal to 3x square plus 15x plus 5, then the approximate value of f of 3.02 is the options are 47.66, 57.66, 67.66 and 77.66. Question 2. The approximate increase in the volume of a cube of side 5 meters when its side is increased by 3% is. The options are 7.5 meter cube, 0 0.75 meter cube, 11.25 meter cube, 1.125 meter cube. Question 3. The approximate value of root over 401 up to 3 places of decimal is. The options are 20.025, 20.050, 20.125 and 20.625. Before proceeding to solve the problems, let us recall the related concepts. First, let us understand what kind of approximation comes into play when we find the value of a quantity using the method of differentiation. Consider a function y is equal to fx as shown in the figure where the graph of the function is ad. At the point a on the graph, the coordinates are x, y such that y is equal to fx. Similarly, at d, the coordinates are x plus delta x and y plus delta y such that y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. Therefore, when we move from a to d on the graph, x increases by ab is equal to delta x. When delta x is very small, we put delta x is equal to dx. Now, we will understand the difference between delta y and dy. For this, let us draw a tangent AC at A such that its slope is given by dy by dx is equal to tan theta which is equal to BC by AB. Since AB is equal to dx, we have BC is equal to dy. Now, f dash x is equal to dy by dx. This implies dy is equal to f dash x into dx. In the figure, BD is equal to delta y. Therefore, when the value of delta x is equal to dx is decreased gradually, the points C and D come closer and closer, which means that delta Y becomes nearly equal to dy. Therefore, f of x plus delta x is equal to y plus delta y becomes nearly equal to y plus dy. Now, putting y is equal to fx and dy is equal to f dash x into dx, we get f of x plus delta x is equal to fx plus f dash x into dx. The use of this equation is illustrated through the example in a manner it is going to be used to solve the problems in the question. In question 1, the given function is fx is equal to 3x square plus 15x plus 5. We are required to find the approximate value of f of 
In the first step, we differentiate the function to get f dash x is equal to 6x plus 15. In the second step, we assume x is equal to 3 and delta x is equal to 0 0.02, which gives f of 3.02 is equal to f of x plus delta x. We have already understood that the approximate value of f of x plus delta x is equal to fx plus f dash x into dx. Therefore, in the third step, we put f of 3.02 is equal to f3 plus f dash 3 into 0 0.02. In the fourth step, we have found the value of f3 is equal to 77 and f dash 3 is equal to 33. Therefore, in the fifth step, we have used these values to get f of 3.02 is equal to 77.66. Therefore, the correct option is D, which is the answer to question 1. In question 2, the volume of a cube of side x is equal to x cube. Therefore, in the first step, we write the function as v is equal to fx is equal to x cube. We are required to find the change in volume delta v when x is equal to 5 meters and it increases by delta x is equal to dx is equal to 3% of 5 meters which is equal to 0 0.15 meters. In the second step, we find dv by dx is equal to 3x square. This implies dv is equal to 3x square into dx. Now, when delta x is very small, delta v is nearly equal to dv, which gives delta v is equal to 3x square into dx. Therefore, in the third step, we put the values and simplify to get delta v is equal to 11.25 meter cube. Therefore, the correct option is C, which is the answer to question 2. In question 3, we are required to find the approximate value of root over 401. Therefore, in the first step, we define fx is equal to root x. Differentiating, we get f dash x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. In the second step, we define x is equal to 400 and delta x is equal to dx is equal to 1. We observe that f of x plus delta x is equal to root over 401. Now, the approximate value of f of x plus delta x is equal to fx plus f dash x into dx. Now, the value of delta x is equal to dx is equal to 1, which gives f of x plus delta x is equal to fx plus f dash x. Therefore, in the third step, we put the values to get root over 401 is equal to f of 400 plus f dash of 400. Now, f of 400 is equal to 20 and f dash of 400 is equal to 0 0.025, which gives root over 401 is equal to 20.025. Therefore, the correct option is A, which is the answer to question 3. This completes the answer to the question.